today I wanted to make a video just about um, black people in general, the social injustice uh, black people face every day, and even right down to uh, people of other nationalities using um, or pretending to act black when they say they're not, you know, they're just, you know, being them. Um, long before you knew what rap was, you know, rap had existed before you, you know, okay, so you like rap, no problem, but, you know, the way you talk, how you act, you know, that, that sounds a lot like a black person. And so the reason why we say you're acting black is simply because you're acting exactly as if a black person would. You know, nigga this, nigga that, you know, when you, you really don't have no clue what it means to be black. You know, did you wake up in fear of being shot or, you know, a police officer just mistaking you for mistaken identity and you end up getting killed as a result. Or just, you know, a police officer just deciding, you know, because of the color of your skin, he wants to uh, kill you. Like, you don't have to face that. That's something you don't have to worry about. You know, as a black person, every day I wake up in fear of my son's life because of the color of his skin and in and fear of my life because of the color of my skin. A lot of people, when it comes to quote unquote the word acting black, like they make it seem like it's no big deal. Like it, it is a big deal. Until you face social injustice, you know, until you face segregation, you know, until you, until you face, you know, someone purposely, you know, being rude or ignorant to you simply because of the color of your skin then yeah you don't know what it means to be black or you have you have no right to say that you're not acting black like the bottom line is is that you see these things on tv you see black people or you see someone acting black in a sense you know okay so what there's rappers besides black people like, I, I get that. I'm not saying that, you know, rap belongs to black people, but this is who we are. This is what we do every day, you know. A good percentage of the black community, I'm pretty sure at one point in time, there was a young black man who wanted to be a rapper at some point or a basketball player or a football player. You know, we're faced with a lot of opposition and people do not understand that. And I feel like right now, like, I feel like it's my duty to kind of like put it, lay it on the line and just talk about how I feel like I, as a black man living in America. Like, just the differences between the color of your skin makes a difference. Sandra Bland, like this woman literally did not do anything they arrested her somehow she ends up getting killed and they say it's suicide you know how would you feel if you know if you were white and you're being targeted simply by, by the color of your skin like it, it doesn't make any sense like it's 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 crude it's rude it's ignorant and you know people still go around as if like you know, black lives don't matter, blah, 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 you know, oh, he's acting black, you know, oh, I don't get, I don't understand why they say I'm acting black, you know, this is what I do, like, you copy, you mimic, you know, you wasn't born into this, you, you, you watch it on TV, you know, you interact with friends who will want to do the same thing, so in a sense, yeah, you're acting black, I'm not, like, pissed off or upset or feeling some type of way like it's just I'm just speaking facts and I hear a lot of times people say you know well you know you have opportunity or get a job you know it's easier said than done when you know you have to work twice as hard just just as a general term to use you know a, 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 a typical black man 
has to work twice as hard as his white counterpart in order to get the same job that white person have. If you don't believe me, do your research. You know, look at look at the st statistics on black men versus white men. You know, prime example, look what president current or not current but former president Barack Obama had to go through in order to be president. And then during his term as president, guess who was making accusations and, and just would not let the issue down that he was not an American. And you know, now this guy is president and all he had to do was go to social media and Twitter and rant about, you know, random things that doesn't really make sense. You know, and it's it, it's kind of mind boggling to me as as to why was it so difficult for Barack Obama to become president, but it was incredibly easy. Like people didn't even show up to vote during the November election when before Donald Trump was president. And now that he's president, you know, people are up in arms. You know, people were up in arms when Barack Obama was president. You know, and all like the House and the Senate and how they like fought him tooth and nail, you know, during his first term just just to make his life a living hell because of the color of his skin and the comment that uh, certain people make, you know, that Barack Obama had it easy because of the color of his skin. Like, really? I mean, how is the, the color of my skin makes things easier for me. I, I don't get it because I fought tooth and nail to get to where a place I'm at right now and it wasn't easy. So I don't understand when people say, you know, he had it easy.